I'm Meredith Jacobs with TV Insider, and I'm here with Jeremy Sisto from the FBI. And the major action packed TV show crossover airs on April 4th. We have a suspect. We got more than that. We are working the same case as you are. You might want to see every stitch of evidence. What a wicked game you play. This is no longer a kidnapping case. We are now looking at an imminent terror attack. We have a lead. What a wicked fancy. Grab him. I need all hands on deck. It all happened so fast. We should have waited. So whenever Jubal leaves the jock, it's for something big. And considering this time it's three teams, multiple countries, what's challenging the agents more, the case itself or the clashing personalities? Well, I don't know. I mean, I, I will speak about Jubal's experience on it. First of all, Jubal usually goes out of the jock when some big personal issue is going on, his family's health or his battle with his sobriety. Uh, but this is, is, is not that. This is because um, a, a case looks like it's uh, a case that's originating over in, uh, in Rome, where the international team is uh, a case that they're handling, is connected to a, uh, um, a case that we have going about a bomb. And so it's highly important that we get ahead of that. So we head out there. And um, it's the first time, you know, on camera, the Jubal's had a chance to, to really work in the same space. Uh, with these other agents, and he, there's no issue necessarily with the personalities, but Jubal is very used to um, having the access that the FBI has here in the New York office. All these different organizations ready and, and willing and, and present to, to really give them any information that comes across their desks. And when we're in other countries, um, we're looking out for American lives first, firstly, um, and so there is a, a relationship between the, uh, the, the local um, law enforcement, enforcement agencies that is different than Jubal is used to. And so uh, he is a little uncertain about how far he can push. I think he's taken aback by um, the back seat that you have to take to some degree, um, the patience you have to you know, engage in order to get what you want. And this is something the international team is much more used to. Um, and so there is definitely some differences of, of how to handle that situation. Uh, but as far as personalities go, they feel like family, you know, pretty quickly. They feel they're like the, uh, the cousins of, of uh, uh, you know, they do what we do in a, in a different part of the world. And, and, and so uh, there's an immediate connection. Um, and we do have history. I do have history with them. Jubal has history with them in the past, even though the audience hasn't seen it. So um, it was fun to add to that. Yeah, speaking of, because Jubal said that Scott's like one of the agents he'd want to be in a foxhole with if, they, if he could pick one of two. Oh, that's right, yeah. So what is that dynamic right. like now that they're working on the ground together? You know, it's great. It's, 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 I, think we, I think they worked really well together. Um, uh, and, and Jubal was doing stuff that he hasn't done in, in, in a few years, really, um, regularly anyway, since he's been running the jock and, and doing the, the job he does now. Um, he's, you know, we're out there with guns and running around and chasing bad guys and uh, really in the line of fire, which uh, Jubal's not accustomed to anymore, uh, whereas uh, Scott definitely is. And, and um, uh, but they have a, a pretty a pretty good communication and respect for each other. There's just some... Uh, some disagreements about how to how to uh, handle the local um, agencies, and and that becomes um, a, a, a contentious um, uh, debate. Uh, but as far as partnership out on the uh, in the job, uh, the, the whole team worked really well together. So talk about filming in Italy because you did get to go over there. Yeah, that was fun. <laughs> That was super fun. I got to bring my family as well. I had to work, which I, when I found out we we're going to Rome, we we're like, we're going to Rome. And then we got there. I was like, oh yeah, I have to do this thing. But uh, the kids, had, we had a great time. You know, they, they had to do too much school in the hotel room, which wasn't, uh, wasn't exactly how you want to spend your days in Rome. But we got to really, it was long enough to get to know the place, to get to know different areas. And, and because I had a job there, it felt like we were living there for a while. So it was a really, uh, it was really a unique, and lovely experience, and um, and working in Rome. The people are. Um, I've got Italian heritage. My my dad's side is entirely Italian, and so I, it's the I, the one nationality I feel really connected to, um, and uh, how they express themselves, and and the just the the uh, the melody in their in their conversation, and uh, is it makes me very um, uh, energized and then the history is just the streets the visual aspects of that city is 
is intense, and it's and it's impossible not to you know be blown away by the the irony and the metaphors of of you know doing these scenes in a city that is built on the uh, the crumblings of an ancient society. I mean, that's what it is. It's a city built on another city that has crumbled, and there's evidence of it everywhere. Um, so it just it just felt. Um, I don't know, it just felt, I mean, the same way that New York has a, such a rich history, this is, you know, more ancient, goes back way farther, and, and, uh, and just, just gorgeous sort of locations to work at. So all in all, it was a, a wonderful couple of weeks. Oh, what's the most interesting or surprising dynamic for Jubal with someone from one of the other shows? Well, it was really just how they were able, how they, um, they handled uh, their connection to the world. Um, uh, you know, Jubal is, is something, he, he's kind of, to, to his, maybe to a fault, he is so used to having this extended team around him that is just, um, feels connected, feels like a part of him, you know, feels like a real connected part of him, like there's not a lot of um, disconnect between uh, the people that he's working with and himself. And they always have the answers he needs. <laughs> Before he, I mean, <laughs> as he's asking them, it's like they're in, right, and so, it's almost, uh, it's, you know, it's it, to some degree, it's it's somebody who accustomed to always getting the answer they need, becomes a little spoiled, <laughs> and uh, and you know, over there they are um, on both the spinoffs. They're more of uh, they're, they're more agents in the in the field, which is what what our agents are as well. Um, our it, Jubal works in a in a more um, investigative way, and uh, and so that was that was really the. Um, he was probably a little annoying to work with. You know, he's like, he feels entitled. He's like, well, well of course they're helping. We're all working for the same common good is, uh, is what goes on. But uh, it's, it's just a little more complicated when, because, you know, we are, an, uh, the FBI is, is, is a part of the American government and, and, and looking out for American lives. So you've done a couple of these FBI crossovers. When are we getting for you the FBI and Law and Order crossover? I know, right? Yeah, I know. It'd be <laughs> great. We could have Jubal and Lupo in the same scene. We, we have the special effects for that now. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if Dick's into it, but we'll see. It's uh, it uh, it's all about the higher ups and their imagination. You can't you can't ruin the universes. You have to protect the universes. And um, but he did. Um, Dick has has mentioned to me in the past that he would love to do a. Law and Order FBI crossover, but uh, I have not heard anything um, uh, actual about that, or that is very actual, <laughs> but I haven't, I haven't heard it coming to fruition, but I would watch. How would your characters get along? I think uh, Jubal would be a, a little uh, irritated with um, the broodingness of Lupo. He's a little quiet sometimes, and Jubal would be like, come on, just get it out of your set. We need to... I need to hear your thoughts. Don't be thinking so much. Well, thank you so much for doing this, Say, And everyone, be sure to watch the FBI's crossover on April 4th on CBS. You don't want to miss it.